What's up? It's Chon Time and welcome back to Wingstop Wednesdays, also known as the Wingstop Eating Show. Wherever this video finds you, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, please like, share, follow, subscribe. Your boy greatly appreciate that. So let's start out with what we have on the plate today. We have lemon pepper wings. We got the buffalo bonus. We have the mango habanero thighs. We have fries. We have corn. We have ranch. Wingstop decided to give me a lot of fries today. I got a whole other basket over here. But anyway, Today's topic is going to be very unique. So today's topic is going to be about who comes first. Who comes first between your husband or your spouse or your children? Who comes first? I basically posted a question last week and said that a woman should make her plate before she makes a kid's plate. And when I say everyone went bananas, they went bananas, right? And I noticed something. I noticed that a lot of people feel the exact same way I feel, then a lot of people don't. So I said, why not make a video for YouTube and just see what you guys are thinking? But I would, um, let me just explain my whole uh, point of view. But before I get into that, I lost a lot of friends once again. <laughs> Facebook is dangerous, y'all, especially, especially if you have a strong following with an opinion. Huh? Basically, in my point of view, I feel like uh, if you are a woman, right, um, see, us men don't ask for much, right? We, we really don't. But if that's something that he wants a request, I don't see anything wrong with a man requesting his food to be made for the children. Because in reality, those kids ain't paying for a damn thing, for one. Two... Women want a provider, right? Yeah, I want a provider. That, that's what... At least that's what I thought. And I hear that all the time. Women want a provider, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. You got the provider. Now, it's time for you to compromise. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. It's time for you to... If if I'm providing for you and all these damn kids, and you don't want to make my plate first, like, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand the problem there. So, have some women say, well, it's entitlement, or well, um, if you want a servant, you should go elsewhere. But, but to me, I'm saying, well, wait a minute now. You don't want to work. Well, let's just say, in this situation, you're at home all day, or whatever the case may be, he's working, providing for you. Why is it hard to do the smallest things? Man, I had this, literally I had this woman on there. She listed a whole list of things that she would do for her man to show appreciation, because then it went to appreciation. And I'm like, you want to do all this stuff that probably he doesn't even care about. But the smallest thing of just making my plate first is a problem. But I feel that's just crazy. And, and then we went on to, then we got into a whole other argument about women and jobs and stuff like that, which I won't get into on this platform. But it's just, to me, it's mind boggling. And the only reason why I'm going to post it on YouTube is because maybe I'm. Maybe I'm looking at it differently. Maybe I'm asking for too much. You know what I'm saying? But your child ain't going to hurt that way after 10 minutes. But then I had other women saying, well, you know, um, we all eat together. We had table together or whatever. Or now somebody saying, like, if a man put his child, if, if, if a man puts... If a man wants his food before his children, he's selfish. I'm like, what the hell? That doesn't even make sense, man. In my, I mean, in my eyes, because, because, because if it wasn't for him in a lot of cases, the children wouldn't have what they have. You know what I'm saying? And that's what pisses me off. It's, it's, it's. I 
I think some women's mentality is just so messed up these days. To the point where I look at the smallest things as being like, they get so defensive and it's like, oh, oh, I don't want to be a slave. It's not being a slave, man. It's just showing appreciation. He's making it possible for you to do, and, and, well, okay, then, and then, so I keep bouncing around, y'all. And then, you know, women were like, you know, then you had some women on there that was saying, hell yeah, I'd do it because I take my family on trips once a year. We go to Disney World, whatever the case is. And he makes that possible. And that is so true. As a man, he's making it possible for you to save all this money to do the things you want to do. So, again, ladies, help me out. I mean, just help me understand, please. Cora, I'm a guy. I will listen. But some of the shit y'all be saying is stupid as hell. I mean, damn. Yeah. You know. You grow up and wondering why your kids ain't listening to their father. Mm. What's good? Growing up one why they disrespecting their father because, I mean, shit, you put them before him. That's why. Duh. But, I just want to get that out. And and then, <laughs> listen, and, and I don't know, man, like, I've developed this whole, uh, I've developed this, this title, I would say, of of being a misogynist. Which, I really don't know how I got that title, but it's whatever. All I do, man, or all I try to do on any platform that I go on to is speak facts. Okay? Anytime I speak about a topic, I do research, right? I do research about it, and then I present what I have research. Whether it be, hold on one second. Women being single, men being single, men being married. Whatever the case is, I try to, I try to, you know, research that and then base my points off that. But these days, man, women don't want to hear that, man. Women want to be told what sounds good, and I don't like that, man. And, and it is true, you know what they say, the true perch. And I really do think that's the reason why, you know, there's so many freaking women that are single oh, in the world today. I do believe this is not lemon pepper. The hell? I do believe that not only women, I mean, I understand men do it too, but I, women are the main, I mean, the percentage of women filing for divorce is crazy. Y'all should look that up. I don't know, over 70% of women file for divorce, or initiate divorce, that's crazy, all right? So, I really do think women as a whole, and I may have said this before, Just don't compromise. All right. At the drop of a dime, they're ready to give up. And men do it too. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, shit. <laughs> Trust me. I was that guy. That's what, that was, that was. At the drop of a dime, pew, I'm out of there. Well, I do think that's why women... Why would I sing them? You gotta compromise, man. Especially if you got a man that's doing 
everything for you and your kids, and he can. Making a plate first is not. I, I, I'm down here, y'all, to pay on this because how does that make. How would one take offense? How would one take offense to that? And maybe, you know, I mean, like I said, other videos, maybe my delivery is wrong, you know. Because I went back and looked at how I delivered the message. And when I wrote the post, I'll be honest with you, it was in a joking manner. But I was serious. But, you know, with social media, people take things really serious these days. I mean, they take it really serious. So, I can see how it was perceived. But, at the same time, I was, shit, I was, I was really, I meant that. <laughs> I meant that. Like, you should do what you got to do to please your man. Now, I know some of y'all are like, well, maybe, well, then that's my husband or whatever. Even if you got a boyfriend, man. And y'all ain't married, but you have a child, and he out there doing what he doing, providing for you and a child, and y'all ain't married, you should still do it. That's even more reason for you to do it. Because now you know you got husband material. You know, damn, man, if I marry this man, <laughs> i tell you right now, I got me a good one. You should do it. A, a, freaking, piece, a freaking sheet of paper in a ring to not dictate what you do in a relationship. It shouldn't, because people like to use the word married. Oh, well, only when I'm married, man. Y'all out here having babies out of wedlock. Y'all out here screwing around. Y'all doing all this stuff and you ain't married. But, again, simple stuff. Make a damn plate first. Oh, I ain't doing that for my husband. Shut up. That's why he's single now. <sighs> Jesus. But yeah. Hmm. I say they hate me on social media. Well, I mean, you know, so I do have a lot of followers on social media. I got two pages. So I do have a lot of followers, but man. Woo! On my personal page? Hmm. It gets busy up and down. Now, a lot of women take, well, I say personal. It's not. Listen, it shouldn't be taken personal, man. It really shouldn't. A lot of women get disrespectful. They take it personal. They're like, oh, well, you just, uh. You know, one woman was like, hope you don't teach your daughters that. My daughter. So I'm like, well, now you're bringing kids into it, but now that you are, I'm going down to teach my daughter that. For sure. If you got a man out there making it do what it do for you and your kids, or he out there supporting you, ride or die for you, yeah, you better make his plate and, and give him head at the same time. I don't know how you're going to do that. But you better figure it out. If that's what he wants, you do it. The problem is, the other problem is, is that <sighs> women ain't got no problem doing this for men that ain't shit. They ain't got no problem doing that. They ain't got no problem doing it. Like, I'm. <sighs> Some of the women on my thread, man, that was, that was going back and forth. I know some of them women. No, for a fact they were doing it. For a dude that ain't worship. But to get a man, a good man, you ain't want to do it. Whatever. But, you know, yeah, give me your opinion on that, man. I really want to know what your opinion is. On that topic, again, I have tough skin. If you guys, you know what I'm saying, disagree, let me know. I want to know why. 
I'm calling all people married, if you're married, single, divorced, whatever case may be. I want to hear your opinion. A lot of people say it because I'm not. I've never been married. Or because I um don't have kids. I don't have an opinion. Yes, I do. We all speak on shit we ain't gone through every day. We all speak on topics. Every day that we've never been through. We all freaking do it. So I would like for everyone that watches the video, if you get this far in the video, most most people won't. If you get this far in the video, definitely let me know how you feel about that. But, you know, Brighton up, y'all, guess what? I mm, 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 have a hundred and eight subscribers. That, this right here, okay, so check it out. <clears throat> a lot of people get 108 subscribers and be like, yo, this is stupid. Not stupid, but, yo, why are you so happy? To get 100 people's attention and for them to hit subscribe, for 100 people to say, you know what, I rock with him. And hit that subscribe button, it means a lot to me. Because you could have went... Anywhere else, but you subscribe to me. I appreciate that. So, next week, um, I should have some free time. I got a lot going on. Next week, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a giveaway on this channel. Um, it'll be a $100 giveaway. This is, I got 100 subscribers. And I'll release a video earlier that week, letting you guys know how to... um register for the hundred dollar giveaway and um how to participate so be sure you be watching my videos all week leading up to the point because i want to give you guys all the information okay i am freaking full you guys let me know how you feel about that topic all right drop the comments in the comments below and if you have not yet subscribed to me please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell do all that you feel me and I'm pretty sure you'll be made up the content, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for your support. Be blessed, and I'm out of here. Peace!